Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode of this series, number 14. Can't believe we're finally done. Um, in this episode, we are not going to be talking about any code. Um, I'm just going to give a little bit of an overview of what we've learned, and then also give uh, a little heads up on what's to come. Um, so hopefully, you know, we've learned that Django class-based, or the generic views in Django can be very powerful. Um, once you understand how to override them, you can get over the humps. That's where, you know, that's where the hard things come in is when you have to override things. And because of the power that's behind the scenes, um, a lot of people starting out with generic views do not know how to override. Um, so yeah, hopefully we've learned about, you've learned about that, um, as well as using mixins to keep your code dry. And, um, I guarantee if you stick with class-based views, you will be happy about it and you will never go back ever. Um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about these videos and I've decided to start a new series called Explore Django, which is about broader Django topics. I'm going to start out with some typical, uh, kind of tutorial videos, you know, talking about setting your project up, routing views, templates, models, forms, authentication, um, kind of those generic topics. But then I'm also going to be moving into more specific topics after that. Um, I'm going to be live coding. So I'm going to, I've live coded in the past on livecoding.tv, but I'm going to start doing that more now. Um, and kind of my goal is to have like Q&A sessions. Um, so if you have questions, if you're stuck on something on Django, you want to see an example, um, like someone today just commented um, about setting up Postgres with Django on a map. Um, so that's like one thing that we could do live coding together and we can go through and install Postgres and set up my Django project with Postgres um, as well as look at some cool new features about Django 110. Django, the newest version of Django, has some um, nice features that go along with Postgres. So I'm going to be live coding that um, and other topics that people um, want to see an example of and all the and then um, afterwards I'm going to be making like videos on on that topic so like live coding we're going to run into problems we're going to get around things um, and then afterwards I'll make a YouTube video to upload um, to my channel um, so yeah if you're not subscribed yet to YouTube um, and that sounds interesting go ahead and subscribe also on live coding um, you can subscribe to me there. I'll have a link in the description. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I, I like doing this stuff. I like helping people. I like discussing it. I know I'm gonna learn a lot too from, from you guys. Um, so we'll be looking at some cool stuff and hopefully uh, you guys enjoy that. I think it'll be a lot better. This was my first video series. So um, kind of, I don't know. I think it's kind of crappy, but you guys, all your, po all your feedback has been positive. Um, but I'm always going to try and improve it. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I see you guys next for Django. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. And until next time, happy jangling.